Me and London met through um, Kevin Lyles. You know, shout out Kevin Lyles. Kevin Lyles is, is one of the owners of the label I'm signed to. It's 300. Um, and you know, I was shooting my Spin It video. And this was the first video that I shot with Spin It. Um, Spin It was actually shot three times. And I scratched all the other two because they weren't chopping it up right or whatever situation, I ain't like it. But it was the first one and Kevin Lyle came out. We was in the bluff. I mean, Kevin Lyle pulled up like the hell, showed love, you feel me? And, um, and I, he called London and Lenny came out and 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 that was um Kevin Lyle was like, Hey man, I need you, I want you to meet Day Day. You know what I mean? You one of the hot artists in Atlanta going crazy right now. So, you know. So I was on my van, I was putting on my clothes, you know, getting ready for my second set. And Lenny got on um put came on the bus and he was basically like, What up, bro? So we chopping it up, you know what I mean? And I was, he was basically just saying like he liked my four reason mixtape that I had dropped. He was like, man, it was. He, he, he like, how you like, how I put my flavor on there, how I put that, that like that old soul back. How, how, how he like my flavor, my flow, and I was like, shit, I like your beats. Oh, like, oh, you feel me? So I'm like, hey man, he was like, shit, but we need to put it together. So I'm like, shit, let's put it together. Like, what, 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 shit, what we need to do? He was like, shit, what, what we can do with all it? I said, let's record. So I got, I got studio at my spot. So hey, he, he pulled up the next day. We started working. Started going crazy ever since. I didn't never like the artwork. That was 300. 300 put that artwork together, man. And I was talking to one of the um people that worked for 300. I'm telling them like, man, I don't like the artwork. You know what I mean? We were sent pictures and and, and we're trying to put the pictures together with me and London on there. They didn't want to do it. They want they didn't want to do that. So I was like, okay, cool. So they 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 sent me this artwork. And I was like, I, I wasn't feeling, but I know we were pressed for time. I knew we had to hurry up and and, um, and had to go with something. And the in the picture that we did have, I don't know. They said they couldn't put it how how to put it with, with the letters or how whatever the situation was. But we had to go with what what was that. So, but um, the take called definitions, and we went with definition because uh, we feel like like. Me and Lennon feel like we the definition of Atlanta. So that's why we put the A in between def A nation. You know what I mean? Because we feel like we the definition of Atlanta. We feel like we the we the we the sound. We the new generation. We 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 what's going on. We the one that got them like this. We the one that got you rapping like that. We the one that got you making your beat like that. Feel me? I I don't know, like like the on the date. I just know like they were ready. I I just know I had to hurry up and put out a project while I was um while I was coming off the what you mean in the in the spin it. So I know I had to hit hit them with the project and they they get some new music. Body of work. You know what I mean? I ain't wanna give them too much. You know what I mean? I ain't wanna give them too much flavor. I ain't wanna give them cause I cause I'm still dropping my, my solo project. I'm still focusing on. I'm still. I still was focusing on the five reasons when I did when I was working on the definition mixtape. So I didn't want to give them too much. So when they hear five reasons, they'll know that I. They'll they'll know the difference. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to give them something like yeah, like like you know I do music. You feel me? And now when I hit them with that five reason, the five reasons you go you go stamp it. The five reasons will let them know like. Home ain't playing. Me and London, I wasn't thinking about trying to do a hype song, then do a low song, then do a girl song. Every song was just how how I felt at that time. You know what I'm saying? So however I came at it, it's what it is. I'm 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 more like a I'm more like a like a hip hop and R and B put together. So when you got them together, that that's what you're gonna listen to. I'm hip hop and R and B. Woke Up, Woke Up is a project, is a well, it's like you wake up in the morning and you start your day off good. It's like you, you wake up in the morning, you eat breakfast, you, 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 you go out for your daily workout, 
you know, you 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 eat your dinner, you, you know what I mean, you just go through a whole great day. It's just one of those feel good records where you just know you're good and you just feeling good. You got you some money in the bank, you got you a good job, you got your kids in school, you know what I mean? It's just one of them motivation records. Okay? Um Hit the Block. Hit the Block is like a street record where it's like a a a young kid that came from nothing. That's that's just, that's have a they just have this this unique talent though, you know. Um, it's just he's just speaking how he feel like like me personally. I grew up around my dad. You know what I mean? I'm basically talking about me. I'm basically saying like even even when my dad was having money, I still was on the block. I still was out there trying to work my move. I still was trying to get me some money, you know. Uh, it's just like I was in many situations. I still I had I had to multiply it. I had to had to had to chop cut some people's off. You had to get in different situations and stuff. You know what I mean? Let's hit the block. Um, don't you change? Don't you change? It's like one of the records where you in this good predicament, but you in a bad situation you know what I mean it's like you're doing something good but 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 some bad come out of it it's just like if you on the road you know you're going to get you some money you know you know you're going to you, you get you some money to, to take care of your kids or you're a truck driver you be on the road you use a long truck driver and you and, and and you put in hours but you, you really don't even be at be at home with your kids or family but your baby mama or your ex-girlfriend go call you one you ain't home you ain't you ain't never there you always on the road you know what I mean but you on the road to get you some money though and you on the road to make sure you can provide to feed your family don't your people you see what I'm saying so don't you change it's just like one of them like don't you don't change because I'm on the road or don't change because you feel like I ain't there you know what I mean stay down until I come back Most of the, uh, that artwork and music was pre um, recorded in a home studio. I mean, it wasn't recorded in a big studio. I actually had my socks on and my boxers, and I was in a in a chair and a microphone right here. I recorded. I recorded most of all that music in my house.